So this is the first stage of the fruit. So we have to wait until a mosquito or a bee pollinize the flower. You can see the first stage of the cacao pot in here. And you can see these structures that look like jalapenos. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're beginning to grow up to wait between five to six months until we have the right cacao pot. So it doesn't make any pods until five years. Until five years. We have to wait yeah, that, man, that's that much. Criollo or Criol, mm -hmm. that was the original variety that was took from Mexico by Cortes. Mm -hmm. And the other is called Trinitarian. If this is ready, so we're going to open it. It's hard like a coconut. You can see the inside. Mm -hmm. Similar to the structure of the corn. Mm -hmm. So this viscosity, this white thing, is the mucilage. The same thing that the coffee has, but this has more amount. Feel free to try one. The fermentation process is going to take five days or seven days. After that, dry under the sun for other week. We need to roast it, fill it, and grind it. Very better. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is after they've been fermented. And dry it, yeah. And dry it. Inside the, the roasting pot, because we're getting rid of all the moisture that are inside the, the cacao beans already. I see. That tells us uh, that cacao is ready. Mm -hmm. I can smell it now. Yeah. It's a little burnt. This is still hot, but I'm going to peel it really quick. So okay. Just uh, twist it a little, and we can separate the husk from the almond. The, this is the cacao nib. Mm -hmm. This is chocolate in the, the most pure form. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Yeah. But it's kind of good. Yeah. Almost nutty, like a... So we we'll share this with you. It comes apart pretty easily. It's not, yeah. not too bad. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it gets a little hard. So in the Mesoamerican societies, what mm -hmm. were given to the priests, the warriors, or the nobles is yeah. this. And for the rest of the population, they give them that, the <laughs> cacao husk. So the Mayans call it Kukulkan, mm -hmm. and the Aztecs call it uh, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl give to the humankind the gift of cacao for the nurture, but the other gods didn't like it because that was the food from the gods. So they banished Quetzalcoatl from the earth and he promised uh, he one day will come back. When Cortes came to Mexico wearing shiny armor and riding horses, they thought they was the coming back of Quetzalcoatl and they received them with 500 uh, co uh, gold cups full of chocolate. I'm gonna say Ghana. That's cacao. Mostly. Oh, it is cacao? Yeah. Okay. Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, Cote yeah. d'Ivoire. But they don't make chocolate. They don't make chocolate. They only tank cacao and they send it uh, overseas for the roasting. So the biggest producers of, of chocolate are Switzerland and Belgium. They import the cacao from Ghana or Cote d'Ivoire yeah. and they process the cacao in there. How much time do you think I need to make liquid chocolate? using only a rock and a disc. A long time. Yeah, it's a lot, but give me a cipher. It's maybe like 10 minutes, five minutes? No, a little more. It's between 24 to 36 hours oh. until we can get liquid chocolate. And with the rhythm, you can add percussion, you can add chants, you can add some flute, some sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can make like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The Mayans and the Aztecs were the first people that created some music as being a disc, so they were the first DJs in human history. The wheels are made of the same material as this uh, mortar. This is volcanic rock. So in this part is where we add the sugar, like almonds, like pistachios. The sky is the limit. So you can spread it through all the mold. Why not? 70% cacao and 30% sugar. Okay. 